Hello, I'm Bryn Antrim, one of the librarians here at Santa Monica College. Today we're going to be looking over the database listing on the library homepage, and I will be walking you through the steps of how to use it effectively and efficiently. In order to get to the library from the college homepage, mouse over Student Support and click on Library, or click on Student Support and scroll down to more helpful services and resources, and we are listed alphabetically in the middle. Once at the library, you have a variety of places where you can begin your search. One search searches everything that we are subscribed to and can be a little bit overwhelming if you have a specific topic in mind. So today we're going to talk about databases, but before we go there, I want to highlight a few things that might be of use for you. One is services. Ask a librarian is 24-7 librarian assistance. If SMC Library is open, you'll talk to an SMC librarian. If we're not open, say it's Sunday at 2 in the afternoon and there's nobody here, you will still talk to a college or, or university librarian who are part of the consortium that we belong to. So you're always talking to a librarian with this chat. We also have printing. We also have the ability to book study rooms for yourself or a group. And over here, we have secondary access points for OneSearch, for the databases, for the research guides. Research topics is a good place to begin if you have a paper and you get to choose your own topic and you're not sure what to pick. An introduction to research has a variety of very helpful links, including information to help you with your citations and workshops that we have both in person during fall and spring and online available at any time. For the library homepage, just below your access buttons, you have our upcoming events. You have information about resources, including the YouTube channel where this video lives, another way to ask a librarian, book study rooms, etc. And information on our hours and how to contact us including our social media links. So today we're talking about our databases page. This is not a specific database, but how to actually find a database to start your search, because it can be a little confusing. When you go into databases, this page has a lot of information. When you click here, you can ask a librarian if you're not sure where to start. If you're having issues with off-campus access or from your own device, you can go here to get help. And then here is where you actually start your search. If you know that you need a specific database, you can search by name or you can go to the listing and find that database. You can also search by database types. Say, I really need newspapers. You can go to only newspapers and take a look at those databases. You can also search by topic, and this is the way most people start off. <clears throat> So say, for example, I'm in an English class and I need to write a paper on um, wildlife conservation. I could go a couple of different ways. I could go into a general database, like Academic One File listed here, or I could go into a specific database for environmental science or for sciences. So I'm going to pick one to start off. I'm going to say, give me science. And the first thing it will list is those databases that are most used by our students in this topic. So this doesn't necessarily mean it's the best bet for your topic. It means that all students doing research in science databases tended to use these databases the most. Once you get past those best bets, then you find all of the databases that have information on scientific topics. So they may be science specific, like environmental studies, or they may be more general, like Academic One File, that also include journals, magazines, newspapers, and books about scientific topics. So I'm going to head into environmental studies to see what I've got. And once there, I just search for my particular topic. And I'm not going to explore the database in this because I wanted to just show people how to get here from the databases page. Another way 
to find databases is say your instructor has said you have to use JSTOR for this to, for this particular paper. You can go directly to JSTOR if you're not sure how to spell it, and there it is because it's not spelled the way it sounds. Right? You can also search the databases for a topic. Now this can be a little confusing. So for example, if I'm searching for um, Andy Warhol, I would not search the databases for Andy Warhol because he's a topic within a database. So he's sort of a subset of art. So when you look at the descriptions of the databases, you'll notice that doesn't tell you particular topics within the database. It tells you what the database covers. So for example, Gale Academic One File provides millions of articles, over 17,000 journals, and other authoritative sources, and covers everything from art and literature to economics and the sciences. Also included are thousands of podcasts and videos. So if I'm looking for Andy Warhol, this will not come up. But if I look for art, it will, because it's in the description of the database. So let me show you that. Nothing. If you didn't know how to use this tool, you might think, oh, that means none of our databases have anything on Andy Warhol. But if instead I say art, suddenly there are 17 databases, including film and pop culture, which are broader than, than art specifically. So then I could go into one of these and look for Andy Warhol. And boom, suddenly I have 2,800. So if here on the database search, I had searched up here and found nothing on him, I would have missed all of these articles. So be aware that how you search the database page determines which databases it brings you back. And that is based on the actual description of the database. If you have any questions, please do. Ask a librarian as you are doing your search. Good luck with your research.